everyone. How are you guys? Welcome back to Amore Fabrics. It's me, Selena. It's been months since I've seen you guys. I miss you guys. Um, if you're new here and you are don't know what this channel is all about, don't forget to subscribe. You can check out the previous videos. This video is my first video I've done in huh, months, which is so rare. Usually I'm always offering up daily deals and products you can use for your crafty items. Say if you're a crafter, a quilter, a knitter, crocheter, of course my junk journal ladies. Of course you guys are the majority. Um, and gentlemen, because I have some gentlemen who also journal as well. So um, I supply a lot of products and things like that, but I haven't been on for a while. So I am back and you're probably wondering, where exactly am I at? <laughs> I am actually in an RV. So we have moved. And you're probably thinking, say, what? Selena moved again. Yes, so more Fabrics and, of course, my personal life at home, we have moved. Since a lot of stuff going on in the world, um, my husband and I looked at each other and we were thinking, geez, is this where we want to be? You know, do we want to be doing the American dream, chasing our tail, living it big kind of thing? One, we love Florida. We love our location here in Pensacola. Let me say Pensacola, Florida. We love this area, Navarre, that kind of thing. Um, so what we decided to do was sell everything. Obviously, minus a more fabric shop, me, guys. <laughs> that there was in storage, temperature controlled, just like an office, ready to go. So more fabrics, the shop is open, has been open, has not been closed for those who are looking for products and stuff like that. I just keep it in there. It's like a whole office set up in this nice unit. It's awesome, it's electric and stuff. So it's like going to work. So <laughs> long story short, so we purchased an RV. And that's what we're in right now. So I would love to give you a tour, but right now I just want to give you guys an update on what exactly is going on kind of thing. So, um, so yeah, it's been at least two or three months since I've seen you guys or done a video. Um, and it's, you know, it's been different. But if you do follow me on Facebook or Instagram, down below is the links if you do not. Usually on Facebook, you guys will know all the updates. Like um, those who are familiar with that, you'll know I say if we go to a certain RV park or um, if there's a new daily deal, if there's new products in the shop kind of thing, uh, funny things like me going to the hair salon, which uh, here soon I'll give you guys an update on that story. So, um, so nothing strange other than we have moved. Uh, we did buy an acre of land in uh, near Navarre, Navarre Beach here in, in Florida. So I won't be Pensacola, but I'll be like closer towards the quiet side um, in Navarre. And we bought an acre that is wooded. At the end of this video, I'm going to attach that video to this video so you guys can watch it and see the land property that I did purchase. We were looking into some tiny houses and um, loved tiny houses. And you're probably thinking, how do you get into a tiny house and have your business? Well, that was one of the debates I was having. I didn't want it. I want a small house, but I didn't want nothing uh, too, too small. And the, frankly, the tiny houses are quite expensive. So... If we were going to downsize and be minimalist, I didn't want it. I want to, I want no debt kind of thing. So that was the ultimate goal kind of thing. So we looked into modular homes or single wide, and I was pretty impressed. We both fell in love with this single wide trailer, I guess you would call it. Um, they make them amazing with metal roofs and everything. And when you walk in, which I'll do a tour when we get it. It's just like a cottage. It's just perfect where half of the R, uh, RV, I'm in the RV, the trailer is just all office, all of our fabrics. The other half is our living, which is awesome. And we're going to set this RV up on the land to where if company or anyone comes over, they have their own amazing RV. Like, for instance, this RV we're in, I even have a washer and dryer. So it's just, it's amazing. I never thought RV living would be this way. I absolutely love it. My husband and I would look at each other every day and we're like, geez, why didn't we do this sooner? I mean, I'll, I have to give you a tour. I'm looking at my stuff here and you're like, what about me? I want to see it. So no, it has been nice. And we're kind of like, geez, do we really want to build a house? <laughs> we're having, we're loving the RV life. But now we have the best of both worlds and we're still in Florida. And if we travel, we just take the RV and our homes can be fine where it's at kind of thing. Like for instance, if a hurricane comes, don't just jump in this sucker and head north, you know. Anywho, so that's that part. Um, so now that I got my computer set up here, which I'm at this table thing. I'll have to show you guys later. 
Um, this is where I have my office. For those who follow me on Facebook, you'll see the table. Sometimes my cat decides to lay on everything kind of thing. So, all right, so that aside, now you guys know the direction. So within a month or so, that would be done. I guess when a, when a, when a modular home is put onto land, it, it takes a month to make one. And then they, that's going to be a fun video. I hope I can capture this, where they drop it on land, well, lightly, of course. <laughs> and uh, it takes a whole other month to set the thing up. I'm like, what do you got to set up for a month? But that's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. But the cool thing is, my neighbors, we have donkeys and horses, and it's green acres for Miss Selena here. Anywho, it's going to be quite interesting and actually quite fun. And I'll bring you guys along for a ride. It's just from a city girl to country girl, it's just going to be quite fun. I'm excited. So, so the hair business, for those who want to know, I finally got my hair done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> for those who know, we were all looking pretty, sh I can't say all, I'm talking for myself. I was looking pretty shabby. You know, I, there's no way I was getting on camera, guys. No way. So those who follow me on Facebook know I was so excited, like, weeks ago to go to a hair salon. And uh, I didn't give you guys an after picture because there was no after kind of thing. And uh, so I got to the point where those who see in the Facebook post, you see me at the salon, excited. I'm like, yay, I finally get my hair done. You know, we're all so excited about that day. So um, I'm sitting there in the chair. And this is a, a guy uh, who's doing my hair, and it's all the ceilings, and light bulbs are really popping all around me, like glasses flying. The the plastic was actually melting from the 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 the, the thingy. Anyways, <laughs> I'm blonde. Let's see, I can't think anymore. <laughs> Anywho, so the the guy's like panicking, and he's like, "What do I do? What do I do?" And I'm like, "Dude, you're like turn the switch off. That's a good start, you know." So that was like a sign from God, like, time to find another stylist. This is not working. <laughs> so needless to say, I never got my hair done that day. And it took another few more weeks to find someone else. And voila, I got my hair done. I got my blonde back. I'm not, my roots are not down to here. And I look like, I won't want to say what I look like, but it wasn't not good. So that story is aside for those who wanted to know. Let me think, what's new? Uh, the shop has been crazy, you know, it's, I feel so grateful since, you know, what's going on in this world that the, my business is still doing great. I, I'm sure a lot of businesses aren't doing great, but since, I guess maybe because I'm a crafty business, people are needing supplies to craft or needing supplies to make masks and things like that. So it's just doing really well. So I'm very grateful. So I'm not struggling over here. But those who want to know, because I know I had a lot of questions, inquiries on that, um, other than that, I can't think of anything else I will do. Uh, now I'm going to bomb you guys with videos. You guys just absolutely love when I do that. Daily deal videos. I know there is uh, an amazing person, Chrissy Fridleson, who uh, made me something special. And she's an Etsy shop, and I wanted to share her. You guys are going to love it. So stay tuned for that one. There's a video coming up for that. Um, oh, junk journaling for my junk journal ladies. I got the itch. For those who are following me on Facebook, I finished my first journal. I also, oh, I wish I had it here. That's another video. Um, I've been doing different types of crafting. I've been working with wool. I've been doing this wool cruel, uh, maybe most familiar with wool cruel uh, stitchery needlework. I did a wall plaque that is nearly complete. You'll see the video on that one. Um, it's for the new home. It's, it's uh, you'll see I don't want to break that to you guys. So I've been, do, I've been doing a lot of crafting. I haven't been working as hard. I've been just, yeah, Selena not working. That's interesting, right? So I am also on my second journal that I'm creating. I'm about a quarter way through. Um, I'll show you guys that as well. Other than that, I can't think of anything else. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on. I am back. Great daily deals. Two of them, in fact, are coming up. You're probably wondering, how do I do these? It's amazing when you can get a nice storage unit that is temperature controlled, large enough, you can folding tables, it's like awesome. I'm alone, it's indoors, which is awesome, electric, and I just do an assembly line. So the daily deal is coming up. I think you guys are going to love, and you have choices, which I love giving you guys that, and it's a great price. So stay tuned for that. I never give out the days of daily deals, guys. They're always a surprise. Um, 
that's pretty much it. Stay tuned after my rambles here. You guys will see the land that we bought. Um, and I hope you guys love it. Thank you guys for your patience and love and support and understanding. And um, But um, I wish you guys much love. I hope I've been listening to a lot of you guys. I've been corresponding with a bunch of you guys, my followers. I know a lot of you guys are struggling. Um, they're having hard times. Uh, there's so much going on in this world, and I don't have to explain because you guys are living in it. But if I can give you guys a huge hug, one thing I can say is that you guys got this. Just chin up, head up. You got us here at Amore Fabrics as support. You guys, there's all the links down below to reach out to me if you just want to talk. Um, and um, I'll do my best to correspond and be back with you. Um, I've done the time. Like I said, I haven't been working as much and um, simplifying things greatly. So I'm excited. I miss you guys. I'm having the withdrawals of coming back. So <laughs> now let me bomb you with videos. All right, guys. Until next time, thank you guys for listening to me ramble. And I'm so excited to be back. Much love to you guys. And chin up. You guys got this. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, welcome to our new land, new lot. Looks like, see where the stake is right here, is where it starts. We just bought an acre, just over an acre, 1.2. Uh, and here is our property starter. Look at that cute little flag right there. Is that? And look at these beautiful trees. I'm gonna take you all the way down right there if you can see right there uh, where this fire pits at is where we're gonna put the house uh, I decided on a tiny house so then we can enjoy this land but look at these beautiful trees I get it an awesome large I love my trees I love my land I'm missing this Looks like um, we're not even at the second property stake yet. Look at all this beautiful shade. Yeah, we got plenty of sun in that backyard to do whatever gardening, what have you. But I have plans to keep these beautiful trees, groom them, groom them, well, trim them. <laughs> Same thing, right? Um, make them nice and healthy. Looks like I do have a neighbor over here. But the next property stake is where I see it coming. Ah, there it is. All right. So there you guys have it. And there we go. Definitely keep all those beautiful pines, uh, depending on hurricane season, just to be cautious. But we are in a country, country setting here. Welcome to the new uh, property of the Warner Keys. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And in three months, we'll have a place there. Look forward to uh, moving on in and seeing the process. So again, thank you. Welcome home to the Warner Keys.